Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Craft Supply, and this is The Leather Element. Send us a question, and once a week we will do our best to get a good answer back to you. Now last week, we cut our filigree. Easy enough, cool trick, easy an outcome. Same thing this week. On the surface, gluing this looks like it could be a big headache, but it's not for one reason. The leather we're going to work with. Now, chrome tans, or actually I should say top grains. These are hard to mark because I can lay my cutout over that or my panel over that and maybe I can scribe a line in with an awl on my cutouts. In my opinion, always visible. Secondly, and on the surface, tape sounds like a great idea. Tape the whole panel, cut it, lift out everything but our cutouts. Well, two problems here. First off, when we cut tape, we're cutting top grain. But secondly, when our glue hits the adhesive on that tape, it's going to destroy it and it is going to be a huge mess. I've never found a good tape that either it's going to leave something that isn't going to leave something or take something when I pull it off. Now, let's jump over to suede. Cures all of our ills. First off with a suede, inexpensive. Secondly, 21 gorgeous colors. And you'll see what I mean when you look on our website. Now, with a, with a suede, we don't have to hit spot on. We've got room for error and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the fourth and the coolest thing to me about suede, we've got a contrasting texture there. So smooth top grain, suede backing, that is gorgeous. So let's do this. Let's jump over to our pattern table and let's glue a piece on. Now when planning this project, I didn't really take into account I'm going to need a piece for a camera shot. So this green is going to be a little hard to see. So let's do this. Let's take a piece of this gorgeous teal. Again, another one of our beautiful suede. Going to take this. This is my, my tried and true suede brush, actually a pet brush, but this is old school and has always worked for me. So I'm going to run that across my suede, get all those little fibers to stand up. Now, let's take our panel and easily, I'm going to lay that down right on top of that. First thing I want to do, let's mark in our outside border. That way I can lay this down as many times as I want to and it will sync up each time. Now, let's take our fingers and we're just going to press around the edges of each cutout. We can use a rolling pin here. But every time I push that rolling pin, it's going to move this face leather and I won't get a good mark for my glue. All right, so we've got that pressed down. Now let's lift that up. How about that? Well, there's our cutouts. Easy to see, but they're not going to stay there. So let's take a pretty good pin and about a quarter of an inch out, give or take, I'm going to mark each one of these. And let's get that one. There, there we go. Now, I want to over glue this line just a little bit. In a perfect world, I could get the glue right up to that edge, but that's going to be too difficult, but also too, it's going to give us no room for error. Now, as I'm adding glue, moving my hand across there, those are going to disappear. Well, it doesn't matter now. I know exactly where my glue needs to be and exactly where it doesn't need to be. But also too, like I said, I can get a little inside that line and it's not an issue because I know I'm still safe. Now, room for error. I don't have to lay that spot on. I've actually got a little room to move that around just in case I need to. So I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to glue this onto this suede and we will lay that down and it will be a perfect glue every time. Now, I believe I have everything here marked. Now, again on camera, probably can't see this. But what I want to do is I want to lay this back down there we go. And again, plenty of room for error because again, on my edge, I'm going to over glue quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. So I don't have misses or air pockets, but also too, what I can do is work my way across, looking at each hole, seeing if each hole is marked. And it looks like I've got everything there. Work my way all the way across. Yes, because at this point, we don't want to miss. We've gone to a lot of trouble thus far. Let's don't hit a spot with glue because if we do, that piece is shot. All right, so I'm going to add some contact cement to this. Then I'm going to flip this over, add that to that, and we'll knock these together. Now, I've got glue both on my face leather and my suede. And again, I apologize, but you can see that. There we go. Now, I'm going to lay my top piece down about 10 minutes of drying. I'm going to line that up because notice too, even on light leathers, my outside line is going to disappear. But because I have ample room for error there, I can simply lay that in, 
Very nice. Now, I've got no misses. That looks great. So let's take our rolling pin, pay a little extra attention to our edges. There we go. Boy, that looks great. Nice, clean and tight, exactly what I want. Now, I'm gonna step over to the cutting table, like our mouse pad, I'm gonna use the body or the main leather as my straight edge, and I'm gonna trim that outside suede. But again, notice, glue all the way around. I have no worry about air pockets or misses. Well, there we go, clean and tight. And I'm sorry, I really, I should have picked a lighter color for my top leather and my suede. Didn't expect to use this project in a video. But nonetheless, I do hope that's good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.